as promised, today I am going to be discussing my top 10 favorites for Miss Namibia this year. As you guys know, Miss Namibia is the bane of my existence, yet I still drag myself into following them because I want to support the women competing and also they are the gateway to Miss Universe in Namibia, unfortunately. And Miss Universe is one of my favorite pageants right now, forever, and always Miss Universe is obviously an icon. So I have no choice but to follow Miss Namibia, even though the organizational decisions sometimes uh, are questionable. But in today's video, I am discussing my top 10 favorite girls for this year. First off, I have Albertina Heimbala, who has tried for Miss Namibia before, I think, and she was also a finalist at Miss Supranational Namibia in 2022. I think Albertina has a lot of potential, perhaps at Miss Earth. She very much has those Miss Earth vibes about her. She seems very confident, and from what I saw at Miss Supranational Namibia, I think that she has a lot of you know, she has a lot to bring to the table at Miss Namibia. And I definitely also think that she's very photogenic and adorable. Then I have Anushka Oren. Anushka is a brand new face for me. I've never seen her face before, but she is so gorgeous. She has a lot of potential. Her headshot that Miss Namibia posted of her does not do her justice. This woman, she is such a chameleon. I mean, she I've seen her in all different sorts of hairstyles and stuff on her social media. I just do not think that this half sort of straightened out, sort of relaxed look that, that she has in her Miss Namibia headshot, I, I don't think that's the best look for her. But when she has the right look about her, the curly like afro type or even a longer sort of hairstyle about her then oh my goodness this woman can be so stunning she's also a model in Namibia so she knows how to walk and everything I can't wait to see what Anushka has to offer then we have Cassandra Vandenmacher who oh my goodness also a new face she reminds me a lot of that one model kate upton she just she has the eyebrows okay it's the eyebrows for me and she's also a model there's actually a photo of her and anushka at the same event for <laughs> at vintage fashion week and i just think that she could also potentially be a front runner this year i can very much see someone with a face like hers at Miss World or even Miss Universe. Then we have Elizabeth Shikongo, no relation to the former Miss Namibia, Chelsea Shikongo, from what I know. She was a semi-finalist at Miss Supranational Namibia 2023, and I not sure why she didn't make it to the finals but i definitely think that elizabeth fits in so nicely with the miss namibia brand especially looking at the fact that they chose chelsea and especially looking at her height uh, they love a tall woman at miss namibia let me tell you that one for three they like them tall and skinny and elizabeth definitely has that i also like her personality i made her at Miss Supranational Namibia this year at the competition she was actually attending, obviously, and um, supporting the contestants that she was a semi-finalist alongside. And she's just gorgeous, tall, amazing. She has a beautiful, calm energy, yet very confident as well. I think Elizabeth could potentially do very well at Miss Namibia this year. Then, oh my goodness, guys, another new face. We have Jamila Uiras, who, oh my word, this woman is so stunning. She's definitely, hands down, the most stunning queen at Miss Namibia this year. Not only this, I think what, what makes me think that she is so stunning is the fact that her social media is just so on point. She posts the most amazing pictures she posts the most flattering pictures of herself i have never seen her in person but just from what i've seen of her online presence oh my goodness she is definitely a top 10 fave of mine then we have Yorina smith i know she's also very talented and she also has a lot of potential in the pageant world and she's obviously very beautiful and i just can't wait to see how she's going to perform at miss namibia because she's definitely uh, cut out for Miss World. She's definitely a Miss World kind of girl. 
Then we have another favorite of mine, Marta Kotanavali, who was a top six contestant at Miss Super National Namibia in 2022. Marta is so smart, so intelligent, so well-spoken. She gives a beautiful performance. This woman is just everything. And like I said before, she was top six at Miss Super National Namibia 2022. She's also tried for Miss Namibia before, but I think that just the past couple of years growth is really going to show. And I hope Marta gets into the top 10. Then we have Matilda Daniel, who was in the top six at Miss Super National Namibia 2020, uh, the year that Shawnique won. Matilda, again, she just very much fits into the vibe of Miss Namibia. I think that she and Elizabeth are sort of on the same wavelength when it comes to, you know, poise and being very confident and having this sort of casual, humility, yet confident vibe about them. I love Matilda. I'm so happy to see that she is still competing in pageantry and that she wants to be Miss Namibia. Another Miss Supranational Namibia alumni, we have Shazmida Ayases, who was a finalist at Miss Supranational Namibia 2020. Shazmida, I know for a fact, makes a big impact on everyone she meets. She makes friends so easily, everybody loves her, and that is potentially the most priceless virtue that you can have in pageantry making friends easy being likable that is literally the difference between winner and not winner and i definitely think that shasmida has potential to get into the top 10 at miss namibia this year Lastly, we have Verona Norris. I don't know a lot about Verona, except that I like the look of her. Okay, there is not a lot of information about a lot of these women online. And for this reason, I'm sort of going into this blind because Miss Namibia also, why would they tell us what these women do for a living? Why would they do that? Why would they tell us what charities they're involved with? But then again, when I go into your social media, you are supposed to be telling me this. And that's not aimed at Verona, that's aimed at like everybody. Verona is very cute and I think that she might get into the top 10. Let me know if you agree with my top 10. Like I said before, I don't, I'm not the walking encyclopedia. I don't know every single thing about every single one of these women. So I am expecting to be surprised here and there, hoping to get at least five of my favorites into the top 10 and let me know your favorites if you also watched my top 30 video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye